Contributing to open source is a great way to grow as a developer, learn new skills, and give you something to brag about during a job interview. But most importantly, this is how we as developers can give back to the community. If you are one of those who want to contribute to an open source project but do not know how to get started, well, this video is exactly for you. I'll show you how to set up a dev environment for GNU project, arguably the single most influential open source slash free software out there that started nearly four decades ago. Just to name a few, GCC, GDB, and Bash are programs developed under the GNU project. Can you even imagine the world without these programs? Anyways, let's get started setting up the dev environment for GNU software. What I mean by dev environment is where you can easily navigate the code, compile, and debug like a normal developer. Yes, 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 technically speaking, all you really need is just a plain old text editor, but hey, if you're one of those people, don't even bother watching this video. All right, there are just two programs you need for this, Docker and VS Code. This is regardless of whether you're running on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Though I'll demonstrate this on my Mac, should be pretty much the same on other operating systems as well. I'm going to assume you already have Docker and VS Code installed on your system. First, you need a Docker file and two JSON config files which I'll share in the description below. As you can see here, we will set up the dev environment based on Ubuntu running inside the Docker container. We install necessary packages, download the program, unzip, configure, and build. There are a lot of GNU programs out there, but I picked five of them to get you started. I think these programs are good starting points for beginners since they're well known and at the same time relatively easy to understand the program flow and debug, unlike crazy complex programs like GCC or GDB. Let's build the Docker image and name it as GNU Dev. It will take a quite some time, so feel free to grab a cup of coffee. Once the build is complete, we can run the Docker container and again name it as GNU Dev. We can see there are five project folders here to choose from, and I'll demo with grab project here. Okay, so in the grab project's root directory, there are quite a lot of files and folders. So let's search for the executable grab with find, which by the way is an executable of GNU's find utils. So the grab executable is in the source directory. So let's see if this is indeed the executable. Indeed, this is grab version 3.8, which is exactly what we expect it to be. All right, now let's set up VS Code to be able to navigate the code while debugging. Keep the Docker container running and open up VS Code and click on the extension tab on the left and search for dev. Install this dev containers extension by Microsoft and click on the newly created remote icon on the left. You should see the GNU container running. Select to attach to the container. Once inside the container, as you can see from the lower left corner, select open folder and open up the grab project directory. Then we need to install the C and C++ extension within the container instance to be able to debug. Once installed, navigate to .vs code folder and open up launch.json file. This is the debug launch config file, which is already pre-configured, but there are just three fields that need to be modified per program. The first field is the name field, which I'm just going to call it grab. The second is the program field, which should point to the executable file we want to debug. In the previous step, we already found it to be inside the source directory. The third step is the argument to the program. Let's find the keyword GNU inside readme file here. In fact, let me also add the color option. Okay, that's it. We are now ready to start debugging. Click on the run and debug icon on the left and we should see our debug config. Let's start debugging. VS Code will run the build command and start debugging. The first thing we notice is that we'll stop at the main function, which is the entry point in every C program. This is quite convenient because we don't have to find this function manually. Let's just continue our program to see if it works. Indeed, we can see the output of the program here where the term GNU is highlighted in red. Okay, this time, let me provide the help option, which should print out the usage. Let's try one more time and now let's actually follow the program execution line by line. What I'm looking for is the portion of source code that prints out this usage.
Maybe show version? Mm, maybe not. Oh, here it is. Show help. This must be it. Yes, there is a function called usage. So let's step into this function. Okay, there we go. This is the line where we are printing out the users message. Awesome. Let me rerun this and set up a breakpoint right before entering this function usage. If I now continue, the execution stops at the breakpoint as expected. So it's now time to show off my fabulous programming skills by modifying the code. I'll write a personal note here to print with the help message. Okay, so let's rerun and see. Continue and continue. If I scroll up, mm, I don't see the personal message. Hmm, what's happened? Well, let's debug to find out. Okay, so let's follow the execution line by line from here and oh, the status is zero, so it skips my code. Duh. Let me move the code up here so that it will print out no matter what the status is. Let's try it again. This time, yes, it did print out. So here it is, my shiny contribution to the program. Okay, so this wraps up setting up the dev environment, but the question is, how do I save my progress? Well, as long as you don't manually delete the container, all the changes will remain and you can easily resume from where you left off. To show you that, let me close VS Code and even close the container. Type in docker container ls dash dash all to list all the containers we have. I can see GNU dev container here. To restart this container, use docker start command. If I go back to the grab projects root directory and run grab from the source directory, I can still see my personal touch. That's great. As long as I have the container running, I can again attach to the container from VS Code and all the changes should be kept there. All right, so I demoed how to get started with GNU's grab program today, but you can basically do the same thing with most other GNU programs. Okay, so that's it for today's video and happy hacking.